Hi, I'm Anna, and I'm going to help you connect your Canon Image Class device to your wireless network. Wireless printing, scanning, and PC faxing mean you can use your multifunction printer from virtually anywhere around your home or office. It also allows multiple users to share a single printer, all at the same time. Setting up the wireless connection on your Image Class wireless multifunction printer is simple and fast. So what if your router doesn't support WPS? That's no problem. I still have an easy installation method to share with you. The one thing I'm going to ask is that you locate and provide your network name and network key. If you don't know how to find this information, you can contact the manufacturer of your router or visit the Canon USA Support website at www.usa.canon.com. Just enter the model number in the search field at the top of the screen. Please feel free to pause the video while you confirm this information. Let's begin by enabling wireless as your printer's preferred connection method. First, press the menu key. Network settings should already be highlighted, so press OK. Now, wired wireless LAN should be highlighted, so press OK once more. Now use the down arrow key to highlight wireless LAN and press OK. You'll see a message that reads, Settings Applied. Now, use the down arrow key to highlight Wireless LAN Settings and press OK. You may then see a message that reads, See Wireless LAN Setting Guide to Perform Settings. This message refers to physical documentation included with your purchased unit. But I'm your guide for today, so please continue by pressing the OK key. Since you've chosen Wireless as your printer's preferred connection method, let's connect it to your wireless access point. Now that you've retrieved your network name and network key, please press the down arrow key to highlight SSID settings and press OK. We're going to automatically locate your wireless router on the network through your printer. Next, choose Select Access Point. Remember the network name you wrote down just a moment ago? You should see it displayed at least once. If you don't see your network listed, first confirm with your administrator or internet service provider that your network is operating. Then, check if your device is within signal range. And finally, make sure that no settings were changed within your router to restrict SSID broadcasting, which is the public broadcast of your network name. If you see your network listed twice, it's giving you the option to connect with or without security. If you prefer to connect with security, you'll need to select the option that includes the letters WEP or WPA after the network name. Use the arrow keys to scroll down to your preferred network and press OK. Now if you selected a network connection without security, you should see a message asking you to confirm your new settings. Press the up arrow key, then the OK button to say yes. Within a few seconds, the word connected should display, and the light below the wireless symbol should turn green. Congratulations, you're connected wirelessly. If you chose a network connection with WEP or WPA security, you'll now need the network key you wrote down when your router was set up. After a brief message, the choices of networks will be displayed. Select the one with the security option you prefer and press OK. On this current screen is where you'll need to enter the network key. Use the asterisk button on the keypad to switch between capital letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. If your network key contains symbols such as a dollar sign or at symbol and you cannot switch to this entry mode, you may need to press the pound or asterisk key, depending on your model. Now, enter your network key by using the numeric buttons to select each character. When you're done entering your network key, press OK or the button below the word Apply on the screen. You should see a message asking you to confirm your new settings. Press the up arrow key, then the OK button to say yes. Within a few seconds, the word Connected should display and the light below the wireless symbol should turn green. You're doing a great job setting up your printer. Now the last step is to simply install your software from the Canon CD or download it from www.usa.canon.com. Just enter the model number in the search field at the top of the screen. That's it! You're ready to print, scan, and PC fax wirelessly with your Canon Image Class printer. Congratulations! I hope I've simplified the wireless setup for you, but if you'd like additional help, you can count on Canon to be there. Simply contact its award-winning U.S.-based customer support team and they'll be more than happy to assist you.